Good morning, Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Wednesday, the 29th of December, 2021. It is the fifth day of Christmas, actually the fifth day in the octave of Christmas, this week between uh, Christmas Day and uh, January the 1st, uh, which in our church's calendar is the Solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. Uh, so our fifth day of Christmas, uh, we have 11 more to go, 11 more to go, 16 days, remember, uh, in Christmas uh, during this uh, dur during this uh, season of 2021, 2022. Um, still coming to you uh, on assignment. Uh, inside today because it's a little bit rainy outside. Um, wearing uh, my new Christmas fedora uh, that I got uh, as a Christmas gift. Uh, so uh, just wearing it inside. Now take it off because you shouldn't wear hats inside. Anyway, uh, today's readings as we move into the uh, fifth day of the Christmas season. Um, again, just uh, it is the optional memorial of St. Thomas Beckett, uh, infamously the one whom Henry II um, of England said, who will rid me of this meddlesome priest? Uh, because uh, Thomas Beckett was actually standing up to some of the bad practices that Henry II was doing. Uh, uh, Thomas becomes a martyr, and Henry, unfortunately, has to do penance uh, before the um, winter home of uh, uh, what, oh, Gregory the Seventh, Gregory the Seventh, um, Canossa in in in, uh, in Italy. Um, so Henry the Second did not fare well, but uh, Thomas Becket becomes a saint. Um, so uh, his uh, shrine is in the cathedral in Canterbury, England. Uh, so still still today. Um, but these rings, uh, the rings for today, again, um, embrace the first letter of John, uh, speaking of uh, those who are uh, sons and daughters of Christ, are those who follow uh, God's commandments. Um, and again, God's commandment basically is to keep loving, uh, to loving and to forgive. Again, those five attitudes, those five behaviors, to love, to forgive, to give, to be merciful, to not judge. Uh, practicing those um, as much as one can, as often as one can, uh, with intent and authenticity as much as one can, um, labels one um, as a son and daughter of God, as a brother and sister of Christ. Um, that is the important thing to remember, the important thing to realize, the important thing to know um, in, in um, aligning ourselves uh, with this wondrous birth um, that, again, begins to change the course of human history. It does not do that fully, that is the resurrection, uh, but this birth begins to change the course of human history. Um, and to demonstrate that, and what it means, again, to be a person who um, exercises those characteristics in ways that, again, may be threatening and may not be easy for people to realize, uh, but, which must, which, but which must be done, which has to be done. Um, we have the uh, one of the encounters of the presentation of Christ in the temple. Um, this one with Simeon. Um, Anna is not in this uh, pericope, in this, uh, in, in, in this selection uh, from Luke's Gospel. It is just uh, Simeon, um, who basically, again, uh, states not only will this child be the rise and fall of many, uh, but that that um, Mary's heart itself uh, will be pierced uh, by what she will experience uh, through the life of her son. Again, in this time of joy and frivolity, in this time, you know, basically, which is nothing, which is supposed to be so um, laugh, laughing and enjoyable and what have you. Um, again, we get these moments in which the reality and truth of life, you know, enters in. Um, not to destroy what this season is about, but to help us realize even more deeply what this season is about. Um, that again, the birth of Christ is not just basically a moment, you know, in time that we come to celebrate and then forget, but a moment in time whose ripples continue, whose impact and effect continues. Um, who helps those who are fallen and disregarded and pushed to the margins of society to find a place, to find dignity and value. And those who believe that they control everything, who rule the world, who have might and who have power, uh, will be shown that they have nothing, um, will be uh, teared down from uh, their lofty pedestals and their lofty thrones, um, and basically uh, help to see where it is that they have not lived up to what it means to truly be one who cares for others, uh, who looks out for the welfare uh, and the well-being of others. Uh, this child comes to bring all of that. And while many will accept it, many will not. And many will be uh, frightened and afraid by what this child comes to bring. Uh, but the trust and hope that it is always a God who brings us joy, who brings us wonder, who brings us life, who brings us in a way of looking at ourselves, helps us to receive this child always as the beginning of that, which, which answers the, the deepest yearnings, the deepest hopes, the deepest dreams of our human hearts, and allows us in what we do to enact God's dream in our lives. A blessed Christmas again, St. Francis and people of God. May the Lord continue to give you his peace.